Overwatch 2, the highly anticipated follow-up to the mega-successful 2016 game Overwatch, is set to drop later this year. But can Blizzard recreate the huge success they found with the original game? Hopefully, there will be some pretty big improvements when the game finally arrives, whilst also keeping the great bits from the original. Today, we are discussing what we can expect from Overwatch 2 when it comes out. Stay with us, let's get straight into it then. We're looking at the game's free-to-play model. During last month's reveal event, the game's developers revealed their business model for the upcoming Overwatch sequel. Fans were we're delighted to learn that the game will drop as a free-to-play live service game, with seasonal updates every couple of months. The updates will include new maps, as well as a battle pass, with the first season of Overwatch 2 set to drop later this year on October 4th. The initial drop will consist of a new game mode, three new heroes, six new maps, and some new skins and cosmetics for your character. Will you guys be getting this one when it drops? Next up, we're discussing team sizes. Stay tuned. The original Overwatch saw team games number six players, but this is set to change when the sequel drops, offering 5x5 five five games. The team equipment will also change, now offering just the solitary tank, 2 DPS, and 2 support. The game director, Aaron Keller, revealed he believes this is the next evolution of the game and how it ought to be played. He suggested there was a lot going on across the whole Overwatch map in the first one, referencing its speed and how difficult it can be to track what 11 other players are up to. He did say that they tried to focus on making the combat easy to understand, but sometimes it's just too difficult with so many players. He said, removing two of those simplifies everything, and it allows players to understand everything that's happening around them and to be able to make better choices. And Jeff Goodman, who serves as the lead hero designer on the game, revealed that tanks will now be a lot more aggressive, saying that they'll be a little more hybrid-y on the gameplay side and less just wall protection. Incentives will also include small bonuses shared by every character of the same archetype, which might include a flat move speed increase for DPS characters or possibly healing supports. What do you guys make of the decreased team sizes? Let us know below. We're discussing a new map now. Don't go anywhere. Fans will be delighted to learn that Overwatch 2 will include a new map type, known as Push, and it couldn't be a simpler premise to be fair. The mode will be a tug-of-war match for control of a robot which pushes two barriers across the map. As you might have guessed, whoever pushes the barrier further into the other team's territory is the winner. The Push mode is an interesting twist on a traditional game, and Aaron Keller described the new feature as really flanky, as players will be able to utilize shortcuts and connections at different points across the robot's path. Are you looking forward to having a go of the new push mode? Give us your thoughts below. And now, we're discussing the direction of the game. Stay with us. As you might imagine, alpha tests have already come and gone, whilst beta is currently ongoing, which means a few key voices in the industry have had a chance to get a first glimpse of the Overwatch sequel, and most have noticed an increase in speed. One reviewer commented on how the overall DNA of the original is still alive and well. However, it is a minimized version of its former self. The game will leave some heroes and strategies at the wayside if they don't fit into the rhythm of its team mode. PC gamer can contributor Tyler Culp suggested, number tweaks can fix this, and I imagine that's the bulk of the work that will go into the beta outside of new hero releases. But Overwatch 2 makes me question whether or not squeezing the game into this slimmer form is worth all the trouble. What do you guys make of the direction the sequel looks set to head in? Next up, it's the new map style. The first Overwatch game dropped back in 2016, and whilst the maps the original offered were adequately good looking, Overwatch 2 has utilized advances in graphics, and that is readily evident in the new maps we have seen so far. We know the game will take us to Monte Carlo, Gothenburg, Rio, and Toronto, as well as other more secretive locales. Interestingly, the game also offers older maps at the opposite time of day fans of the original will be used to. For example, we can play King's Row in the daytime and also Golden Hour Eichenwald. What are you guys most looking forward to when the sequel drops? Give us your thoughts below. The sequel is actually more of a relaunch. Stick around to hear about it. Overwatch 2 will serve as more of a relaunch than a traditional sequel, as it will be replacing the old game, meaning that the new multiplayer will now serve as the singular Overwatch platform. The original will no longer be available to play once this one drops. Sound good? We're discussing the Overwatch 2 beta now. Stay where you are. Fans of the original will have been delighted to have gotten a quick glimpse at the upcoming game with the recent demo, but unfortunately, it won't be around for much longer, so you guys will need to get on it before it disappears for good on July 18th. The beta has been the first chance for most to play the sequel, but you can actually extend your playtime on the demo by purchasing a Watchpoint pack, which will include some bonuses before the full release. The first demo lasted around three weeks, and the second is scheduled to last for a similar time, given the fact it dropped at the end of June and will be running through July 18th. We know the PvP format will be available October 4th, but we're still not completely certain when the PvE format will drop. If you want to play the Overwatch 2 demo, you will of course need to be quick. The opt-in website suggests that more invites will be sent by July 5th, which means you may receive a redemption key if you haven't already been lucky enough. And if you've signed up, you can expect access before 
before July 14th. Have you guys played the Overwatch 2 beta yet? Give us your thoughts of how it was below. Next up, news that Blizzard has removed hostile architecture from the game. Fans of the game, and of social justice in general, will probably be delighted to learn that following player feedback, Blizzard have removed a specific feature within their Midtown map. The first beta featured sectioned benches across the map, a common feature of New York City which the map is inspired by. The reason for NYC's sectioned benches is to discourage homeless people from sleeping on them. The player who noticed and reported the issue, known as Clear Together, spoke of how dismayed they were at seeing the sectioned benches within the game. They suggested that the features were out of place, given that Overwatch is supposedly an aspirational universe. The game is now in its second beta, and Clear Together will be delighted to learn that the sectioned benches are no longer a feature of the game, tweeting, Thank you so much to the Overwatch team for deciding to change this. It's honestly overall a small change, but goes a long way. I guess that's why they have player feedback, to get rid of things like this that shouldn't even appear in real life, to be honest. What do you guys make of all this? A step in the right direction, right? And finally, a couple of major changes to two controversial characters. Stay with us. Game developer Blizzard has revealed that thanks to the beta, they will now be fixing two characters. Fans had complained that Symmetra and Mercy both needed changing, with Symmetra nerfed into oblivion, whilst Mercy suffered from a broken super jump. Blizzard said, We recognized in the first beta that Symmetra didn't quite fit into the play space, Overwatch 2's changes were defining. Faster paces, more engagements, fewer barriers. There are fewer tanks that Symmetra can use to charge up, and the removal of Assault 2 CP maps takes away a defensive stage that she previously shined on. We expected the changes to Symmetra's teleporter and secondary fire projectile speed to be the primary solutions, but we overshadowed these with other nerfs. They went on to explain that one nerf wasn't gaining ammo from barriers, which they said they removed to put power back into the character's ammo capacity. They also revealed that Mercy's super jump was the result of a bug, which players just assumed was part of her utility. They said they liked the idea of a bug turned into a superpower and decided to keep it, saying, After the patch, Guardian Angel will not automatically launch Mercy into the air, but it will now have a meter that charges while the ability is active. Cool. As usual, thanks for dropping in today and remember to join us again next time for some more fun and games. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye guys!